Have you guys ever wondered about the weaponry in Battlefield and its history? Well, then this video is perfect for you. Let's get into this. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I am Tewaz. I hope you're having a great day. If this is the first time you've ever stumbled upon one of my videos and you find yourself enjoying it, please smack that thumbs up button. It helps me tremendously. And subscribe for more random reviews, gameplay, and history lessons just like this one. Today's lesson is on the M1917 MG, or better known by its real life counterpart, the Browning Machine Gun. For looks, Battlefield has pretty much nailed it, but other than that, the weapon is pretty inaccurate, which we'll get into later. I want to start at the beginning though. So in 1900, John Browning filed the patent for the recoiled powered automatic gun. He didn't work on the gun again until 1910 when he built the water-cooled prototype of the 1900 design. The gun worked well but could use a few slight improvements. Browning replaced the side ejection with bottom ejection, added a buffer for smoother operation, replaced the hammer with a two-piece firing pin, and a few other minor tweaks to create the M1917 that we know today. It was first used by the US during World War I, but due to production delays, only about 1200 M1917 saw combat, and then only in the last two and a half months of the Great War. Some of the machine guns didn't even see conflict because they had arrived at the front a few days after the war was already over. So they didn't even get shot, they just like were made, showed up, turned around and went home. The M1917 machine gun was crew served, belt fed, water cooled machine gun that fired a 30 odd 6 round out of a wooden ammunition crate that holds 250 rounds. Um, so for looks, it looks right in the game, but that's about it. It was usually on a tripod and or attached to vehicles such as jeeps and usually used in bunkers on airplanes or mounted to vehicles like I just said. It weighed about 47 pounds, so actually carrying the thing around like they did in the game would be pretty inaccurate and be pretty hard to do in my opinion. So the M1917 had a fire rate of 450 rounds per minute and the A1 variant hitting 600 rounds per minute. So the M1917 only saw World War I and just a very little bit of it, but then it was improved into the M1917A1 variant, which went on to serve in World War II Korea and even served in Vietnam to an extent. So there you go guys, you got yourself a little history lesson on the M1917 machine gun, or better known as the Browning machine gun. It was a beast but I don't think we could have used it like we did in the game. All right, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. You think if we could have carried around a 47 pound gun and used it accurately, or if that's just a bunch of rubbish and there's no way we could have done that. Either way, let me know what you think. And with that being said, if you'd like the video, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content just like this. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.